All right, so we all been there. When you were out one night shooting some amazing footage like I did in my previous video, which you guys should go and check out right in that corner. You shoot everything you want, you import your SD card, you open the folder where your video's in, you drag it into your folder you made, then you fire up Premiere Pro, you wait for it to load, you import it, you select what you want, you drag it in just to realize that you shot everything in 24 frames per second. Well, today, I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem. Once you have booted up Premiere Pro, what you do is you grab your clip that you want, you import it, I'll just do an example on this one again. This was just some shot up, shot from what I literally just filmed like five seconds ago. And see this, I shot it, it's relatively stable, it wasn't that good, I kind of went all wonky, I think I did it over. Nah, that's fine, good enough. So now I just drag this into my timeline, I don't need the audio, and what I do is I see this, and it's extremely easy. So basically, do Command R, once you do that, you can change the speed to whatever you want. I prefer 50, cause it's a bit, e bit easier on the computer. The maximum I would say to do is, well the least you should do is 20 frames per second, just to make it kind of more like, after that it looks a little weird. And then once you do that, you press this, and you go to Optical Flow, and you press OK. And that makes it red. So basically when it's red, at least with my computer, you can't see it really. Oh, well, oh, because it's 1080. Well, you can already see what it's doing right there. It made it slower. While in this case, I will do this, you ready? I will Command C, Command V this, and I will do two examples, okay? I will Command R, I'm gonna make this 50% right here for you. I'm gonna Command R this, I'm going to do 50% and I'm going to do optical flow and now I'm just gonna sequence render it out and I'm just gonna wait also just a quick thing uh, how do you guys like this I have the light down here I have an LED strip here I got this light right here but tell me how you like it leave a comment down below if you're not subscribed you should do that too I'm going to try to post more. This is just a quick little thing that was supposed to be quick, but it's still rendering out. So I'm just going to shut up and wait. Alright, so once it has finished, look at this, you ready? This is, this clip right here is one without optical flow, you ready? Look how jittery it is here. I can put it full quality for you guys now. You ready? Look how jittery that is. Now, here's optical flow. Look how much smoother that is. And what this can do is this can help you with warp stabilizing because what you can do is you can just slow it down this way so that then it kind of smooths everything out. And then let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that's so much better. Oh wait, well that is, that is the video. If you guys like this, please make sure to thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. I will try to post as much as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.